Did you have? 35. And if you guess the number correctly, I'll tell you. Two kids? <laughs> two. In two. You talk, you think I'm some... Five kids. Five? You think I'm some... Ten. Closer. Twelve. Around, around there. Around there. Okay. You have kids, damn. I didn't know that. Does he actually have kids? If he seriously has kids, I would be very sorry for them. You need air. You don't need a vape. Have you ever seen anyone with a vape? Yes. Have you ever sat in a room? So we go, wait, oh, let me just go. My vape's done charging. Load it up. I mean, I smoke cigars, but I know what the fuck I'm doing. Give me a big fat cigar. Okay. I'm risking cancer to look like a mafia boss. Fine. <laughs> I'm not sitting there smoking cigars and going, I can't believe this is bad for me. No, like these vape children. And what kind of parent lets their 16-year-old vape anyway? If I had a 16-year-old son, he's like, I'll go to vape. Get the fuck out of here, vape. Do some push-ups. You ain't got time to vape. You gotta do push-ups. You ain't got time. You're a little fucking punk. I mean, if that is not an example <laughs> of perfect parenting, I don't know what is. That's it, Andrew Tate. You you had it right. Yes. The right way to raise a child is you. Will I really die? Yeah. Yeah. 50-50. What are you talking about? How would you not die? I've never died. Let's just put it that way. You freaking Yeah, idiot. but I mean, you're 35. Exactly. I'm, no, but I've never died. Not even once. So like, is it really going to happen? I don't know. It's been a long time. It's never happened to me. Is it really going to catch me? I don't know. So you're immortal is what you're saying. I'm temporarily immoral. I understand. <laughs> gotcha. I mean, I've I've never died either, so <laughs> I've never I've never died. I'm I'm 30. I've never died. So, you know. Wow, life is looking good for me. I'm temporarily immortal <laughs> until I die. I can't walk the street without people coming up to me saying, Top G, top G, top G. But I am walking the streets now with bodyguards. Really? I'm doing it. <laughs> For your protection, not my protection, your protection. Really? You cannot just run up on me. I would rather end you than me get ended. I'm tired of walking down the street and people seeing me out the corner of their eye and sprinting over to me. I don't know you people. So I've started walking around with bodyguards. But if you see me, approach slowly, with respectfully, caution. and carefully. And I would rather. I would rather make a mistake than die. It's not me, it's you. Like, that's exactly what it's like. It's like, you know when a guy tells you we're breaking up because it's not me, it's you. It's like, oh, no, no, no. I'm not hiring security guards for me. I'm an amazing world-class fighter. I don't need body. I'm hiring them for you, for your protection. Like a good neighbor, Andrew Tate is there. Who needs State Farm when you have Andrew Tate? Looking out for your back. You know what? I, I kind of just, I just quit sleeping. You're right. Is that right? No, I'm just saying, I just quit. Like, I just thought, you know what? It ain't right for me. It ain't right for me. I'm not sure about that. No, no, you're not sure about that. There's only, you know, uh, years and years of science behind the fact that the human body needs sleep in order to function. But you're not sure about that. Cause you're so smart. You go into the bathroom, strip down to your underwear, and look in the mirror at one average piece of. <laughs> you're such an average piece of. <laughs> that you don't even have the self control <laughs> to be selective about what food goes in and out of your own <laughs> mouth. You're right. To lift some weights up and down. For you're like right. Twenty minutes a day, so you don't look like complete trash. <laughs> you can't even do that. Nope. You look like. Yeah. It's the easiest thing in the world to change. It's a biological certainty. If you stop eating like a gluttonous moron yeah. and go do bare minimum exercise, you're going to be in the top five percentile of body shapes on the planet. Really? And you haven't even managed to do that. Wow. You're a I know. What kind of fucking human existence is that? <laughs> I mean, you know, life is really difficult. If you're not living like Andrew Tate, then you're a piece of <laughs> But guess what? Andrew Tate. He's living like Andrew Tate with all his money and all his, you know, 
He knows everything. Tara Tate, I'm in a private jet, drinking fresh sprinkling water. I saw my mother drinking still water once. I can't handle such disrespect. <laughs> so I threw her out of the plane. This jet is not for <laughs> but I don't give a f because my closest person, my brother Tristan, Tristan. replaces my mom, wow. my dad, and sometimes even my girlfriend. We do everything together. We pee together. We consume alpha meals together. We f my girlfriend together. He never had a heart attack because heart attacks are for I love you, Trista. Anyway, let me introduce you to my top pilot. Hi, my name is Jessica. I'm your pilot today. Female pilot on board. Oh, God. Oh, God. I just find it so hard to believe how many people have gone to, like, Andrew Tate's college. How many people take this guy seriously when, like, literally all he does is talk shit? Please bring me pizza and uh, make sure that these boxes are not recycled. Not recycled. So I'm actually mad at Greta, right? Because she doesn't realize she's been programmed. She doesn't realize she's oh, a God. slave of the Matrix. Oh, God. Yeah. Get over here. We know where you are. Yeah. Big mistake ordering pizza, bro. We got you. If your man does cheat, the most stupid thing you can do is leave him. You're going to leave the man you love. The man you were head over heels in love with. You're going to leave him. Yeah. Find another man who you don't love, who's still gonna cheat on you, cause you're still a trash. <laughs> I am hilarious. <laughs> that is Are super you? true. This man has the like. The, he's literally so obsessed with himself that he is he is reacting to his own bullshit, and he thinks he's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you're laughing now while you sit in jail. Wearing an orange jumpsuit. Is that the color that G's wears? Straight up G's, is that the color that they're supposed to wear? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it looks real good on you when you're bent over the jail bed. Never say you go into bed. Going to bed is emasculate. Oh, Cowards really? Really? Sleep. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm texting you, you beautiful girl, but I'm tired. So I'm tired, I'm gonna go, go to bed. What are you, you know, supposed I to like say? To fucking quarter past one in the morning, I'm going to Work at this time, money never sleeps, baby. I'm going to fucking work. Then I go to bed. It's fine. But the point is, she said they're going to work. What do you do? I'll tell you in person. So I've heard him say that he doesn't sleep, but he then in this video he says he's going to bed. You know, I was like, I think he's a little mixed up on which one is it? Do you go to bed? Do you sleep? Do you make money? Are you a straight up G? Do G's need to sleep? Hey, Jacob, who are you watching? Now, Mother, I understand that you don't understand what's going on right now. Quite frankly, it's not your fault. There's so much knowledge and information coming from this television that your mind cannot comprehend what's going on because, quite frankly, you are an inferior human being. What? Now, don't, don't break my concentration. Do not break my concentration. If I listen to Andrew Tate enough, I will be able to have 10 houses for all of my wives each, okay? I do not right. stop for anyone. Okay, whatever. I really hope that watching all of Andrew Tate's videos um, escalated your life so greatly. Those 10 houses and 10 wives, they are coming to you.